Hi guys, uh, in this video quickly I will try to go over the dash box. Um, I had some people asking me how is, does it connect and uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's a great box um, that it looks like this. Sorry for, for the mess, but this is the, the brains of it. It takes all the analog signals and uh, it converts them into a signal that is transmitted over Bluetooth uh, to, um, to a tablet. So then it could be displayed uh, nicely in a real dash. Um, so out of the dash box itself, so this is the dash box, um, there is a harness that comes out and all these wires, <clears throat> they're pretty much um, displayed in this um, spec sheet that comes with it when you when you buy it. You have the pin code to um, to establish the connection over Bluetooth, and then you have the the individual cables. Um, so these are the analogs. Then you have the digital inputs. Uh, so for me, I used um, A6, which is A six it was this cable um so it would be a matching um location on the harness itself i use for the fuel pressure and for the fuel pressure i just used a um, ebay sensor and um, that worked fine same thing for oil um, it's a five volt pull up it's a generic sensor that you can pick up or you can use your existing one the only thing is um, it's hard to get the break breakout tables so um, this is a breakout table uh, that I have and I know that this is a five pull up um, sensor so I know the voltage that it displays and the pressure that I should be expecting if you are using uh, the one that is in your car you have to find out uh, what is the breakout um, table for that sensor. A lot of the Honda ones are all already available on the internet. Some of them, uh, they could be found through some forums, but uh, the best way is to supplement it with something from like an uh, eBay, AliExpress or any other um, websites. Um, the sensors are pretty cheap and you can get it. Then the digital inputs, these could be used for any indicators. Um, so for the digital input um, A3, uh, input 1, I use my left um, side indicator, then I use my um, left right there. Then for the seat belts, when I put the seat belts, the real dash will uh, show the seat belt signal. And then you have a whole bunch of other ones that I didn't use. Uh, I just went for the uh, major ones. Um, you can have a high beam. Um, you can have the door open. Um, and, and again, these are mine that, that I used. I use a combination of the dash box and I also used um, a port, OBD2 port. And that's where I have it. I use a, a again, a cheap one that worked fine i tried to use name brand and uh, they work the same um the the bottleneck is <clears throat> is your ecu it's not this um odb port you can have the fastest uh bit rate available um port and then um it could only send the information as fast as it can get from your ECU. So <clears throat> most of the time, the ECU of your, your car computer, pretty much it, it cannot send the information fast enough to it. This device can, uh, or any majority of them, could stream these, um, that uh, that information, all the PID, PID codes to, um, to the tablet very very fast but if it cannot get the information fast from the computer uh, of course you will see a delay uh, and this is uh, this works better when you have a CAN bus something like Audi or Volkswagen where uh, where that information could be sent much um, much faster 
but if you have something like Honda, older uh, Acuras, that information it is it's not as fast and, and it's delayed. So the dashback solves a lot of the information. Uh, it streams uh, real time, like the fuel pressure and RPM uh, and all, all that information right in it. Um, now, I did open up, I'm a, I'm a hands-on guy, so I had to open it up and see what's inside. Um, so the dashback's inside, this is how it looks. And um, I know I'm not the uh, circuit board um, expert, but it uh, looks pretty straightforward. Um, again, this is made by um, SP uh, Lay Nun. Um, this box, it is awesome. I, I personally love it because it really streamline and make this um, beautiful interface of um, real dash to come alive the uh, the some some of the indicators that i use again um like the coolant um then what else um like battery uh information i just used from uh the odb2 port but i wanted something streamlined um for the rpm uh, I did not want the RPM to be like glitchy. Right now it's it's spot on, it moves really fast. So that was very nice to have. Yep, so that's pretty much it.